Some Oklahomans are wondering what side effects are possible after getting the COVID-19 vaccines. News 9's Tevis Hillis joins us live from the County Health Department with what health officials are seeing. Tevis, good morning. Robin, Lacey, good morning. We know that vaccine has been out for just about a year now and people are still questioning, well, should I get the vaccine because of those side effects? Well, medical officials tell me you're taking the same chances to have side effects by taking everyday medication. Any other medication that you might take, you don't know how your body is going to respond to it. The first and most common adverse side effect after getting your shot is anaphylaxis or an allergic reaction. It's treatable. So again, that's why we sit people, observe them and ensure their safety after the vaccination. If everyone in the United States were to get the vaccine, 2% of the population would experience this there's a greater chance of winning an Olympic medal. While the Johnson & Johnson vaccine has been a center of concern with two adverse side effects after getting the shot, thrombosis and Guillain-Barre syndrome, both of these being seen in a very small group of people. Janssen is not the only option out there, so you would definitely want to look into an mRNA vaccine. Some remain concerned about Guillain-Barre syndrome causing paralysis. Most people do recover. There, There's a gradation of severity and some people do have uh, serious consequences. Uh, so I would not want to say that everybody recovers, but it's a very, very small risk. When you start to weigh the risk and benefits, the benefit definitely outweighs that risk. And the last adverse side effect is myocardial myocarditis. Now that's a, a heart inflammation in young boys and young men. Now they did those trials on those five to 11 year old kids and they said they did not have any of those side effects. Live in Oklahoma City this morning, Tavis Hillis, Oklahoma Zone News 9.